so since we are going to the end of the 2023 there is more Priuses right now available in the market new body style I'm talking about and I made a video about this car back in the day so you can watch it and see what's my opinion about it I'm still about the same opinion about this Prius but right now we do have a tough choice so basically those cars available even used one you can buy it between I would say 30 and 35 as a used or a new, maybe you're gonna order one as a LE for 29,000 MSRP and some change. But there is a second choice for the same money. Uh, you can buy the Prime. Basically, you can buy the Prius also, and that's the Prius Prime. So we do have a plug-in and extra battery for 25 miles range. Uh, is it worth it to buy this or that? Because the price range, it is the same. We're not talking about the uh, uh, premium or XLE package we're talking about the cheap one le prius 2024 compared to this prius prime it's not 2022 but 2022 they about the same they just changed a little bit like they put the fog lights on the front bumper but the general the whole idea of that prius it's exactly the same as i have right now so basically you have a 30,000 you want to buy economy car and you want to buy toyota because it's going to run forever so basically and it's going to hold the value long period of time so what are you going to see you're going to see two cars on the market as a prius prime with extra battery so you can charge it plug it in and drive 25 miles on that battery after that the engine going to kick on and you're going to drive it as a 54 mpg that's what they say in uh, officially but usually you're gonna get about 47 48 45 mpg because it's a traffic um, you might gonna take freeways a lot you might gonna I don't know listen to music and put the AC on all the way up and this car has 1.8 engine it's kind of strong one because they produce in this engine since 2016 right so it's still good I mean I didn't see much problems with that engine to be honest with you it's not the head gasket issue like on the previous 1.8 but here we got 2.0 engine so basically bigger engine than this one and better mpg so mpg here officially 56 57 compared to 54 so let's see is it worth it to buy this car with extra range but pay kind of more because if you're not going to buy the prime you can buy the regular prius with different packages you know you're going to have a lot of different things but you're not going to get the same screen you're not going to get the same tesla screen as the prius prime has right now and uh, we're just going to go quick uh, view and compare those two cars like the size of it how can i sit on the back what's the trunk compartment looks like can you put a lot of stuff in your prius and again if you're going to be like if you want to be like a modern guy or girl whatever you want to be modern person and drive some nice new 2024 toyota prius for sure that's for you that's the technology there is a new headlights tail lights and it looks cool i mean not like the prius prius uh but again this car it's amazing also we do have a uh, xenon light on it and it's uh standard and a lot of different things but i think in my opinion if i would have a choice to buy this Prius Prime for 30,000 or 30,000 Prius LE but it's a new body I would go with Prime I don't know why maybe it just like kind of fully loaded there is a leather seats and uh, that big screen but again in my opinion and I think not only mine this car is much comfortable because the base a little bit bigger the car the car itself a little bit more comfortable for me to sit on the back the trunk area a little bit wider than the new one even dimension maybe is going to be the different but that's what i see and that's what i feel when i'm opening the trunk or when i'm getting inside the car plus when i'm driving it i'm feeling much comfortable myself by driving the older body prius than the new one i have no idea why that's that just re reality of this time so by quick review and kind of quick compare those two cars i'm gonna go inside and out i'm gonna open the trunk i'm gonna put uh some stuff in the trunk so you can see how it's gonna fit there so i'm gonna be kind of touching the car i'm gonna show it to you what's going on in the prime and the prime the one i got right now it's so beautiful because we do have a two-tone interior so it's basically black and white and there is a lot of cool things let's see check it out so the space on the front seat it's more than enough it is comfortable we do have some extra stuff to put here i mean the glove box obviously just for the manuals but the seats are heated 
We do have a phone charger like, located right there. The one most interesting part about previous Prime, that's the main screen. And it's doing some sound when you turn the car on. It's doing some sound when you turn the car off. It's not fully like I would say Tesla, but same time, there is a lot of cool, cool things. Even the climate control, you can do it from the screen. There is a sound system, you know, the map navigation and all that kind of stuff. That's just cool. I mean, for the Prius, you would never say uh, they're going to do that iPod Tesla style. Actually, the common problem for the Prius, that leather on the steering wheel, it's always peeling off. Since 2016, when they start doing it, I don't know why, but quality of the steering wheel leather, it's such a poor, it's not leather, but it's always kind of falling apart. 2022 has the same problem, it doesn't matter what. So, am I comfortable sitting on the front seat? Yes, I am. I mean, I'm, I'm knowing I'm sitting in the Prius, not on the super luxury car. But what about the space? more than enough so let's go on the back the way i am right now so basically i was sitting on the front now i'm gonna go sit on the back so we have two seats on the back it's not the bench so basically you cannot put anyone in the middle only for four passengers up i'm feeling more than comfortable right here on the back so i have a lot of space i have a lot of space on the top i have a cup holders that's one of the most necessary things i think in the previous the phone charger i can plug it in and charge my phone while i'm sitting on the back and driving here but there is nothing else so there is no multimedia there is no uh, air air ducts so nothing but it's cool i can sit i cannot put more than two people on the back that's the problem with this car but isn't beautiful it is so nice for the Prius, for the two-tone leather interior. From, from any side, you're gonna go around. So right here, we got the charger. So basically that's the standard uh, socket. It's not, uh, it's not the Tesla type, uh, but same time we don't have a fast charging. So we only have 220. Let's see the trunk area. The trunk area, it's a little bit smaller than the regular one because we have an extra battery sitting on the top of the hybrid original battery this thing i have no idea why why they did that what they trying to put the charger supposed to be there but i don't know so since it's a prime and we don't have enough space for my body but still i can do some uh some some maybe uh picnic outside and uh I can go maybe on the PCH and enjoy the view on uh, Santa Monica or somewhere in the Malibu and do some small picnic stuff. But it looks like I can do it only by myself because nobody else can sit behind me. Maybe if you're going to do like this, but it's not comfortable at all. So the trunk area is not that huge, but still because we got extra 25 miles range on a plug-in battery. I like this uh, fiber carbon carbon fiber i like this carbon fiber uh trunk lid and it's a real one it's not the plastic so basically if you're gonna see the crashed one it's gonna be ripping off like uh not like plastic <laughs> so on this side we have just a regular uh gas lid gas tank lid on the other side there is a charging so from this side, look, which one would you go with? I mean, the older body style or new body style. Even from this side, you already can see this car a little bit smaller than the older one, but it's kind of much cooler. And like I, I mentioned before in my previous video about the Prius 2023, 2024, Prius, they got that little bit like kind of signs everywhere. So the have caps right now, they have that sign Prius and it's like on the headlights, tail lights, everywhere we do have a small sign of prius that's cool so what about this one this one kind of again new technology maybe the screen it's a uh, it's a famous right now everybody doing the same way screen in the middle of the dashboard they're not doing the old style like on a prius prime but it's just a boring look at this it's just a cloth interior black plastic about the same whatever it's on the other car 
What about the space? What about the space? So I have to move seat a little bit because the dashboard, the way they made it, it's not the same as on the other one. Uh, I think I have a little bit more space by sitting on the older body previous than this one. And right here, what do we got? So we got the screen. We don't have a navigation. It is optional. Uh, you can pay for it and it's going to be there. Or you can connect your phone and use your phone as a navigation. Right? So the climate control, just a small screen. The shifter for the transmission. That's about the same. Not about. It is the same as that one technology, but it's just a different style how they produce it. Honestly, I'm feeling myself a little bit squeezed. Even on that Prius, I'm... I'm not feeling so much comfortable, but again, if you're going to compare those two, I'm feeling myself much comfortable in this one. What's going on in the back? So, like I say, okay, my, my legs pushing the dashboard and it's moving. Wow, it's soft. I think if I'm going to push more, the climate control is going to pop out, but I'm not going to do that. So, on the back, that kind of cool thing. Opa. Yeah, I'm feeling comfortable also. I mean, honestly, like a little bit more down because I think uh, that Prius, the seat itself, a little bit up if you compare with this one. But it's a nice cloth interior, nothing special about it. Again, I can see the steering wheel and it's just cool. And the cool thing... Uh, they didn't use the same leather for the string wheel as the older one, so it might gonna last a little bit longer. So the rear window <coughs> on the trunk lid has a Prius sign also. There is a Prius sign on the tail light. So the trunk area in this Prius, it's kind of bigger. We have a little bit deeper, deeper stuff. Uh, again, it's about the same, but there is a compartment right there. And what we got, we got the battery. So the Older body style has a battery under the hood and on the 2023-24 they went back to the previous style and put the battery inside rear right quarter panel. Right? So if in that car I can sit in the trunk and do some kind of a uh, little bit lunch out in this car it's going to be not comfortable because there is a step and there is kind of uh, not comfortable that's what i'm saying you can get good mpg you can save a lot of money for the gas especially if you're driving a lot not only if you're driving fuber or uh, like a food delivery but just to drive around go some places not far places i drove once or twice to vegas and uh, no no i drove for like last maybe 10 years seven years i drove once uh, on the prius to vegas and once to san francisco I never, I never want to do it again. On the long run, on the freeway, this Prius, it just, I mean, it's not feeling safe for me. It's always like kind of bouncing in the high speed, 75, 80 miles per hour. It's just, it's just stumbling, you know, it's not, it's not stable, solid car. So let's open the hoods on the both cars and compare what did they change? Is it really something different, like completely different, like what they're saying, it's a new technology, improved, but it is a new technology. It is a different, little bit different kind of uh, coolant. It's a pinky over there, it's red, but still pinky. So the battery 12 volt sitting right there. We have a DC inverter sitting right there. What about here? That's about the same, and they might even use kind of the same. So we have a two plugs right there. Maybe it's not, nah, looks like it is the same, same technology, just a little bit bigger engine. But again, uh, maybe if you're gonna go and check the deep details about the engine itself, like they modified it, but I think the short block is gonna be the same. So they changed the, what I'm really considering about how come they start doing that kind of oil. So on this Prius, they do in 0W16 and this supposed to be uh, 020, yes, 020. On the high mileage Priuses, it's not recommended. I'm, I mean, 
I'm not doing that kind of zero something oil on a high mileage previous because it's just burning oil a lot. So the jar valve is still there. They just modify it a little bit, but it is what it is. Toyota technology always, always kind of ahead of everyone else. And I think you can trust any, any Prius, any Toyota you can trust. If not, just lemon it. But I don't think it's going to be much problems with the Prius the new style and the old style also if it's not a high mileage well maintained car uh nobody nobody abuse it it's gonna last for a long period of time so right now let's go drive it a little bit around and see how those cars feels and uh, acceleration also i'm gonna try to show it to you the way it's accelerating and the way it goes not on the freeway not on the racetrack just Regular city, it's easy to park both cars. Both cars has a backup camera and uh, it's easy to drive. That's why the Prius is so popular, not only about the MPG. If you would have great MPG, but car drives like the not so good, people wouldn't love it. They wouldn't buy it. And those cars always on demand. And right now, even right now, the video I, I filmed it before, it was a May, I think so. Right now in December, it's still high demand for the new body style Prius. You still have to order one or wait or pay a little bit more over sticker price just to get it right away. That's how they are on demand. So to compare all the cars, let's compare the keys. Keys are about the same, same shape. The only difference on the Prius Prime, we can hold this button and you see it's going to start working without you present in the car that's kind of cool thing but uh, same time i think the toyota on an app you can open and turn on the ac or maybe blower or maybe you cannot because that car has an extra battery so basically without running engine that car can do that kind of thing as a running ac without you inside the car that's cool as before i mentioned about the new style Prius, when you drive in the car, if I'm sitting comfortable, the steering wheel, it's reachable for me. And it is comfortable sitting for me right now. So I cannot see the, the cluster. What's going on, on the dashboard, what's the speed right now. It's blind. So basically the steering wheel covering it all. I don't know the way they doing it or what kind of people supposed to drive it. But if I'm going to put the steering wheel all the way down, I can see the whole... Uh, cluster but it's not comfortable for me so i have to lift it up by lifting it up i cannot see the speed that's i don't understand so the performance obviously it's prius there is a good performance right at the right at the start of your trip so you can step on the gas and the car just gonna go and you're gonna feel it like it's super fast but it's not so it's super fast, up to maybe 40, 35, 40, I would say, miles per hour. After that, it's slowing down. And when the battery fully charged on the Prius, basically when it's, when it's charged, uh, it gives you more power, all the horsepower going through. So 194 horsepower feels kind of powerful for this kind of car. And believe me or not, it is powerful. You don't need more for this kind of car again, unless you want to do some crazy stuff and put turbo on it, but what for? It's just crazy stuff. So zero to 60, it's a 6.6 .6 seconds, right? So it's about, about the same as the Mercedes we've been filming 1994, uh, SL320, that car doing it for eight seconds. So this car is supposed to do it in the seven seconds. I mean, the sound of engine, like it wants to fly away without the car. It just unscrew me from the motor mounts and I'm gonna go ahead. So there is some things not like I hate about it. There is nothing to hate it. But the steering wheel again, I'm having an issue with this car about the steering wheel. The design, the form of it, the buttons, kind of, kind of unpractical, I would say. But it's a LE. It's a standard, standard edition for the Prius right now. There is a parking sensors. They are present. We have a line keeper assist. 
And same time we do have a Distronic Plus. So basically in the traffic or somewhere on the freeway, you can put it in the active cruise control and it's gonna keep the distance between the cars. That's cool. The cool thing, they start doing it in the cheap cars. I mean, on the cheap edition, you don't have to pay extra for that kind of features, but it is helpful. Sometimes again, uh, you on the phone, don't say you never texting or you never calling someone or checking your Instagram account. Maybe somebody like your photo while you're driving your beautiful Prius. So while you're on the phone and you're going to put on active cruise control, so the car basically going to avoid the collision by doing driver crazy stuff as a check in the phone during driving the car. And the Prius know that and it's going to save you from that headache. But again, in general, 30,000 for the Prius, I wouldn't pay. I would buy some crazy stuff or some cool stuff. Maybe Audi or BMW, as they all, all of you probably want that, not the Prius. But again, it is a cool Prius, new technology, new design. Uh, don't know if you like it or you hate it. I'm kind of in the middle. I'm always considering Prius as a Prius car. So basically, it's good on gas. It's practical because you can park it anywhere and not so many Priuses got stolen. Catalytic converters, yes, not in the new one, but in general, uh, it's not a Honda, so it's not getting stolen uh, in that amount of cars as the other one. Again, if you Google it, there is a huge data about the stolen cars and the Priuses. They're only famous for the stolen catalytic converters. That's why there is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of different kind of equipment to protect the catalytic converter to put it on the bottom. What kind of time we live in? Uh, huh? At what kind of time we live in at right now? People stealing catalytic converters. That's crazy. Uh, so that's it about the Prius interior, that's it about the 2024 Prius drive. Uh, we're gonna go right now to the Prius Prime and drive that car and I'm gonna show you how much nicer you can get the car if it's gonna be Prius Prime, two-tone interior, not the cloth seats. But again, the price for the car, it's gonna be about the same. The only thing, if you cannot find this car for cheap, you have to order one and wait for it. That's the only problem. I don't think you can go and get it for 29,000 MSRP. Only certain amount of places who can sell you for MSRP. Other people, other places, they probably gonna, they're gonna ask a little bit more money. But again, if you consider on a lease term in 36 months or even more, that 3,000 over sticker price, it's basically nothing. But the choice is yours, ready to pay that or ready to get 2022 Prius Prime with extra battery 25 miles uh, and about the same horsepower. So when you start the Prius Prime, you're not only gonna hear that uh, beeping noise, there is, there is a music playing. So there is a music playing as I inviting you to this beautiful Prius and when the car is off, There is again kind of classic music playing, so to letting you go and enjoy your life outside this beautiful Prius Prime. So what we got here, it's not that boring as the other one. There is a lot of places, there is a lot of different pieces. If you're gonna compare with a uh, new Prius, much better in my opinion. The screen, the cluster, I can see what's going on in the cluster. I can see what's my uh, gas level and uh, the mileage, my, my speed. On the other one, I cannot see it. So this car, we have a Distronic Plus also, also Line Keeper on the side, beautiful screen with a lot of different options, cool options or not so cool, it's, uh, it's your decision, not mine. But on the top of that, we do have an EV battery. EV battery, EV mode not available, low battery. So if you're gonna charge the battery, you can switch it on to the battery only and it's gonna drive without engine starting. So that car cannot do that. That car gonna always uh, kick on the battery. So it is gonna be a quick, short drive around. Again, it's not the performance car. There is nothing, there is nothing to check as a drag racing between both cars. It's just about comfortable about how you can find yourself in this beautiful Prius. All of them are beautiful. All the cars are beautiful. There is nothing made as a super cheap or super pool. All poor, all the engineers, they've been working so hard 
to make those cars available for you guys and for me also all those pieces technology whatever they put it on the car believe me they've been working so hard as a technical engineering education i got a long time ago i know the process between the car start making and the car become available as a one piece available for sale on the market it's taking about five years if you didn't know about it again you can google it check it out so basically all the cars whatever is gonna come up in 2028 they are right now so they already doing uh, they already doing kind of uh, shapes and forms what kind of technology they're gonna add and put in those or these cars you know what kind of battery is gonna be what kind of engines so it's it's a long process of producing and uh, designing the car it's not the quick like that oh let's do the new screen let's do the new headlights let's make it bigger or smaller no it's a long long process and i appreciate all the people who are working in the car industry because i just love it so much that's why for me all the cars are beautiful they may be ugly they may be old or some other kind of stuff and see how i'm feeling myself here i'm feeling much better much I mean, kind of, I have a more space around me for my legs and for my, uh, for my body also. Uh, and a lot of things available right here. So I don't have to go back there. And uh, at least my cluster with the speed, it is available right there. So it's not covered by steering wheel. And I can uh, easily put both hands on my steering wheel to drive around. Same thing. Like I say, there's the same technology, but again, on the older previous, like this body style, that line keeper and the Destronic Plus active quick control, it's not available on the tube cars, on the new body style cars, like 20, uh, 2024 Prius. Those are not optional. Uh, those are not optionals. Those are included from the beginning. I'm, I'm thinking second for myself uh, about this car definitely i like this one much better than the other one so 060 it's about the same uh with extra battery they claim it's 220 horsepower so we have 20 horsepower more just because the battery uh kicking on as soon as you're trying to accelerate the car Oof. if it would be for me the guy for example if i draw if i'm driving right now the old style uh prius and i got the uh, I got the time of my life I want to change the car and I want to buy one of them and I do have an option to buy the new style Prius or the old body style Prius I would definitely I would definitely consider to buy this body not 2024 because money wise it's about the same but the technology and some options on this car you're gonna get much more than on the new body style Prius unless you're gonna buy the new 2024 plug-in hybrid uh, which gonna have a lot of options also like this one but the price is gonna be a little bit more maybe 10 12 15 thousand more than a cheaper one so instead of paying that you can pay same not the same 30 33 maybe a little bit less than 30 but you're gonna get Prius Prime with extra battery with more options and the car itself a little bit bigger a little bit more comfortable so it was an amazing two cars i mean they are the best known priuses everywhere you're gonna go to dubai you're gonna see a lot of priuses africa united states you name it and uh, the choice is always yours and it's just my opinion but i'm always trying to show you as much as i can and thank you so much guys for watching it see you next time put some thumbs up and put some comments below for sure you have one of the previews like that and for sure you have your own opinion about the previews so share it with me i'm gonna answer it as soon as i'm gonna see it thank you so much guys